They well suit me. Look. I always wanted to be in the army. Why didn't you join them? Press up my pants. <sighs> hey. Tracy said she spoke to you. Yeah. Look, we went through this with Phil. I know it's weird reading about yourself in the paper, but we won't say anything. Say anything about what? Uh, nothing. We're doing a joint promotion with the uh, with the pub, you know, pint and a potato. <laughs> Can't see that catching on. <laughs> They're gone. Someone must have nicked them. There you are, Marines. You are now part of the Brotherhood. I don't think the British Army fought in Vietnam, you know. Cracking movie, though. <laughs> Give me them back. You snivelling little thief. Eh? My dad won these for gallantry and valour. I like to you, you're not fit to touch them with your grasping paws and your idle nature. I bet you've never done a proper day's work in your life. Hey, steady on, Doug. He's just found him at the bus stop. Oh, we're just going to take some selfies of him and take him to the police station. But you shouldn't have been wearing them. That shows a lack of respect. That doesn't sound like too much of an apology, Doug. You said I were a thief. Yeah, but, well, well, I'm sorry. Arthur, boss. Seems like it's my day for upsetting people. Bob and Brenda are now. Jerry, I'm sorry about our little misunderstanding. The medals. They've got great sentimental value for me. I never knew my dad, you see. He got his call-up papers when I was a baby. He'd been off to war, and I... I never saw him again. Hey, Douglas. I lost my dad, too. What, he passed away? No, went to the chippy. Spent the cash on a one-way ticket to Brilliant and I never said a word to me mum. Well, Bridlington's hardly El Alamein, but I'm sure you're still in contact. Never even knew what he looked like. I'm too young to remember him. I always looked on you as a bit of a fatherly influence, to be honest. I've always thought of you as a bit of a son. Which is why I reacted like I did when I thought you'd let me down. Yeah, hurt, Doug. I won't lie. Just that you could think so little of me. Oh, I'm sorry, lad. It's not you. People. They're weak, they're selfish, they're pleasure seeking. Nobody's got any grit. All my mates are out for themselves, too. Even when I think we're proper close. Like me and Lachlan. Even he goes cold on me. Well, I'm very fond of you. And I'm very fond of you. Dad. You're a fine lad, Jerry. And don't let anybody tell you any different. <laughs>